cause teams to lose control of their robot. All these teams have worked so hard to be here. We want to make sure they're able to do their best. Let's keep those Wi-Fi hotspots powered off, please. Thank you very much. All right, here are our scores for match number four. Red Alliance takes match number four, 106 to 49. And now back on field number three, qualification match number six, ready to rock and roll. On the Red Alliance in this match, it's team 18, 183. The Inspire Award winner from Aurora, Illinois, it's Rounded Cube. Their partners this match, let's hear it for team 32, 16. An Inspire Award winner from Chicago, it's Robofins. Over on our Blue Alliance, it's team 18, 5, 29. Also an Inspire Award winner from Highland Park, Illinois, Rust in Peace Robotics. And on the Blue Alliance, it's our second team, Team 7006. A Connect Award winner from Chicago, it's the Robo Titans. And we've got the all clear to begin. Match number six in three, two, one, go. Here we go, our robots scanning those signal cones, figuring out where they need to park and continuing to score the cones from the starter stacks on the front and back side of the field. On the back side of the field, the Rust in Peace Robotics just a little bit misaligned here. A lot of their cones falling off, but they've gotten two so far. Let's see if they can get the third. And they do, three cones there for the Blue Alliance. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Rounded Cube also slamming down a red cone for the Red Alliance, along with their alliance partner, 3216 Robofins on the front side of the field. We saw two cones down for red, three down for blue and autonomous. Right now, red with a slight lead, but you can see how quick over on the blue side of the field, Rust in Peace Robotics continuing to drop those cones off. A very quick system. They don't have to move at all. That arm extending out, grabbing the cone up into that larger funnel seems to be working very, very well for them. Over on the red side of the field, both of our red robots, Rust in Peace Robotics, excuse me, Rounded Cube and Robofins, now trying to get those red cones placed on those high junctions. We see both red robots accomplishing that task. Now 3216 Robofins going with another, a very unique mechanism there, a horizontal slide that allows them to, to deliver those cones very, very quickly onto those junctions. You can see the human players continuing to deliver these cones onto the field. Human player placement of the cones is very, very important for these robots, especially those that want to sit still and not really move during the match. You can see their Rust in Peace Robotics have moved over to the red side of the field and reclaimed that junction, but that's not going to stop Robofins, who take it back. Lots of cones stacked up on the blue side of the field. That high junction getting pretty heavy. We've seen some teams bump into those junctions here at the end of the match. Oh, and we saw two beacons trying to be scored on the same junction. We'll have to see how the, how the referees rule that. We do see another beacon going down for blue, though, not quite getting it there for the Robo Titans. Red has one more beacon left to score. Let's see if they can do it. Five seconds left. They do have it on, but oh, it has to stick. And right in time. And we've got our scores for qualification match number five now. Blue Alliance wins match number five, 164-153, a very close high scoring match.